What is up everybody and welcome to Everything's Plastic. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Star Wars The Black Series and this is the Battle Damage General Grievous from Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now this is part of the Gaming Great series. To be completely honest, some very, very cool toys coming out of this Gaming Greats line. So we have an awesome picture of General Grievous on the side here. The exact same image on the back. We have Battlefront 2. This is number 25 in the Gaming Greats. And like it says, there's Star Wars Battlefront 2. We have a quick little read-up that says, Kalish Cyborg General Grievous was a brilliant separatist military strategist whose mere presence caused unease amongst his enemies. Obviously, General Grievous, very, very menacing looking enemy, and I like it. Hopefully this one is a little bit better. I'm thinking this one is just a re-release, a repaint of the previous release. So I'm looking forward to getting this one out. So we'll be right back with General Grievous outside of the package to get a closer look. For accessories, he comes with four lightsabers, which we previously seen. Uh, one of the previous releases, the one I actually have, uh, came with four lightsabers, blaster, and a cape. This one just comes with four lightsabers. Uh, I should have mentioned earlier that this is not actually my figure. My buddy Nathan lent me this one to do a quick review on. So a big shout out and thank you to Melgus. So we'll start by getting a closer look at accessories. We see some awesome detail on the lightsaber. Love the gold ring going around here. We have a little bit of detail here. We have some black line work here on the bottom of the hilt. Uh, some black paint here and some black, a black ring going around the top here. Pretty nice paint application on this one. We'll do the blue ones first. Here's the next one. This one's pretty cool. There's a little red button painted on this one. Uh, the paint application on this one is nice and clean as well. We have silver and some black rings, some black lines going around here. A little bit of silver or gold trim going around here on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have this green one. This one is not as good as the other ones. This one is in kind of rough shape, man. There's a big dent here and the paint application. This one's just warped, man. Doesn't look good at all. Uh, the button is actually painted nice and clean. And a bit of gold on the top here and a black line going around here. But yeah, this one looks kind of mangled, man. Not 100% uh, sure what happened with that one. <laughs> Maybe Hasbro was going for some battle damage, uh, possibly. Who knows, man. Uh, with this one here as well, we can see that this one is actually kind of warped too, which is kind of weird. Uh, just black and silver paint for this one. Uh, whatever is painted on this one is painted decent. Uh, yeah, not a bad, not a bad lightsaber. I think the best one out of all of them is this one, man. This one kind of takes it for me. Too bad it wasn't red. I'm more of a Sith type person, uh, personally. But yeah, these are all pretty much the same lint. Actually, no. The green ones are a little bit shorter. Blue ones a little bit taller. Obviously, if the green ones are shorter, blue ones got to be taller. Yeah. All right, let's get down to General Grievous. All right, we have tons of detail in Grievous' eyes. I think this guy looks fantastic man loving all the battle damage we see some uh some carbon scoring i guess it is some scorch marks going around true here uh some burns scrapes i love it and the battle damage carries on down here as well uh tons of detail on all the hoses and everything else uh for general grievous i love it he's a very cool scope man I, I like the overall appearance of this one general grievous is is a fantastic uh character in my opinion anyways and when we get down to the bottom here we see that the battle damage carries all the way through his feet look fantastic as well <laughs> man this one is a very cool looking figure uh the downside is everything's really thin and everything feels kind of cheap i'm not gonna lie uh, as much as i do like this figure and as much as i do like the character uh, the overall appearance or the overall feel of this one is uh is pretty cheap man so uh but yeah not gonna lie though, it does look fantastic, but feels cheap. Very, very nice sculpt though. Uh, this one looks great from a distance. Definitely a bit tricky trying to get this one stand up. Like I said, uh, very, very flimsy. Feet are kind of cool, man. Uh, I'm sure you can get this one in some pretty cool poses, but yeah. And then we get down to the arms. Uh, these actually pull apart. There's a little notch here that this little part just kind of pops into. And same thing for the bottom part of his arm too. Uh, it just kind of pops in here and then there is a little hole and a little peg that kind of snaps together so you get one single arm which looks pretty decent uh, much better than mine <laughs> on mine this is all actually all squat together and up here is all damaged as well so uh, thankfully my buddy Nathan got a better figure than I did 
make sure that you kind of spin these around so that you can still get a bit of articulation out of it and you can still move it around and all that good stuff so yeah tons of articulation uh, when you put it together it actually goes up this far you do get a full rotation all the way around and all that good stuff too so we'll get these other hands kind of spaced out here before we start articulation these joints don't feel good at all it just feels like it's going to break I, I don't know man this one's making me nervous especially because it's not mine and it's general grievous so uh not like this one is easy to get not easy to get in our area anyways so but let's get a closer look at articulation so his head is on a little ball joint here that spins uh all the way around if you really really want it uh like i said be very very careful with this one very very soft flimsy plastic here uh for his arms both arms go up this far you're not going to get a full rotation so they kind of just move like so and this one kind of moves uh rotates all the way around as well well not all the way around but uh so they basically rotate until they reach the other arm uh there is a swivel here at the shoulder which is pretty good man uh there is a little ball joint down here so you can pivot this one all the way around you do get a little wiggle room here which is good uh no forward and back though and for his legs we can see that there's a little ball joint here so his legs only go out this far go forward this far man look at that wow you can swear general grievous man is a ballerina possibly but yeah it only goes back this far all the way up like so i can't stop doing it man that's awesome look at that awesome range of motion all right <laughs> for his knees uh you get a full bend all the way back you can kick his own robot butt or cyborg butt or whatever he is uh for his ankles it goes forward this far back this far uh you do get a full rotation here and this one kind of moves around a bit if my camera focuses but yeah you get some you get some articulation out of it like i said not crazy good uh be very very careful kind of heat this one up before you start playing around with them a little bit because like i previously mentioned many many times very very flimsy and i wouldn't want you guys to break your figure when you're trying to play around with them so that pretty much covers articulation let's pop some lightsabers into this guy's hand uh what do you want to do we'll mix it up uh the only bad thing is there's no articulation in the wrist so that kind of sucks but hey man we'll survive we'll get by oh yeah cool all right i never noticed this when i was doing articulation but you do have a little pivot right here so that makes up for the lack of articulation in the wrist i like it man sorry guys for missing out on that when i was initially covering articulation so i think there's a lot of hidden articulation with this one man i uh, definitely play around with it a little bit more but like i said ah uh, afraid to take chances with this one super nervous so we are just gonna pop these spike savers in and then we're gonna call it a day with this one because i'm not a professional reviewer i have to pay for these toys or my friends give me these toys to do a review on and i don't want to break my friend's toys so here we have it guys there's general grievous all decked out with his lightsabers kind of ready to kick some butt man i like it now like i previously mentioned many many times you guys can play around with this one you guys can get this one in some pretty cool poses as for me right now i'm super nervous and i'm not going to mess around with this guy too much uh, i think you guys get the point what you see is what you get and what you get is a pretty awesome general grievous action figure now i think the likeness is definitely there with this one and i love it man a quick side by side comparison here is my version here is the older version of general grievous and here we have the new version uh some minor differences we can see a little bit of silver paint on his face obviously this one got a lot of battle damage it is the battle damage version so this one is a tad bit cleaner now there is some weathering some battle damage on this one and like i previously mentioned too arms on mine are all jacked up so uh yeah not a fan but does it ever ever look awesome man let me know in the comments below which version you guys prefer do you prefer the original version or do you prefer the battle damage obviously i like the cape on my general grievous that being said it is not the nicest cape we ever got uh the stitching is very very thick and very very bulky uh other than that though uh we do have uh, a little bit of room here for the lightsaber hilt which is a pretty cool feature but yeah getting back to this one man if you're a big general grievous man i recommend you pick up both how we leave it at that <laughs> just to do a quick comparison here we have them next to a vegeta which is the dragon star series obviously general grievous is a tad bit taller quite a bit taller actually 
And another quick comparison to a McFarland Toys DC Multiverse. And I intentionally grabbed this one because my buddy Nathan, the guy that lent me this figure, hates Superman. He hates him with a passion. Me being me, gotta pick Superman for a side-by-side -side comparison. So obviously, 7-inch line, 6-inch line, but General Grievous is a fair bit taller than 6 inches. I should have measured this one, but I'm not a professional, man. This one is a little over 7 inches, and we see a Grievous, if we stand him up straight, is almost 7 inches, so uh, there you guys go. And uh, for the record, uh, Superman can kick Darth Vader's butt. Just saying. All right, one more quick comparison. Here we have him next to a G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Viper. Oh, such a cool figure, man. But we can see that General Grievous, uh, like I previously mentioned, six inch line, but quite a bit taller than a standard G.I. Joe Classified. I don't want to push my luck with this one. This one makes me very, very nervous. More nervous than a NECA or any other figure that I reviewed. All right, so out of 10, I am going to give this guy a eight out of 10. Really, really like this one. Really, really like the overall appearance. Uh, the downside is it feels super, super cheap. So even though I really, really like General Grievous, I really, really like Star Wars. I really, really like this action figure. But to be completely honest, I have the rate it accordingly. And I think this is a solid 8 out of 10. It's just too flimsy, man. It makes me too nervous. It doesn't feel like a quality figure. But if you get this one displayed on your shelf, it's definitely a nice piece. So I highly recommend it, but be prepared to be not blown away when you take this one out. Very, very flimsy. I'll say it again. Be very, very careful. But that's enough warnings for me. <laughs> I got to do my job. I got to warn you guys. I got to tell you what I don't like about it and what I like about it. As always, my friends, let me know what you think of our score of 8 out of 10. Let us know what you think of our review. And what do you guys think of this General Grievous action figure from Star Wars Black Series? If you like this review, don't forget, hit that like button hit that subscribe button as well. And we have a channel membership as well if you guys want to become a channel member. As always, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Keep collecting, stay safe, go buy some toys.